Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Miss E. I'm here with Mac Million TV. Holla. So how long you been in the game, Miss E? Actually, I've been in the game for a long time. Um, it started out when I was younger. Actually, started with gospel. Gospel's not out. Gospel's still in, but I've been in it since I was a young child. So, music has always been with me. How many songs you got on the shelf? Whew. Honestly, I have too many songs that's on the shelf. I can't give you a definite number. Cause I'm always in the studio doing a whole bunch of different songs. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, for one, I'm unified. I'm real. I don't have time for things that don't involve enhancements of your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on a mission to get done what I know I can do, like, in myself. Like, my goals, what I want to do, I'm going to make sure that I do it. So, basically, I'm a put-together person. So where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself as completely successful and at one in peace with Almighty making it. So how do you feel about the industry in Dayton, Ohio? Well, actually I don't consider it like an industry in Dayton, Ohio. It's basically like a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying, they're doing their thing where they can. It's not like really big, huge venues out here that really, you know, zeroes in on the talent that's here because we have a whole lot of talent here. So they pretty much just stop making me laugh. Anyway, my bad. They they pretty much just focus on keeping them in like small venues, you know. And then a lot of people don't stick together. So mostly at the venues, it's a whole lot of artists. It's not like lots of fans, even though everybody is everybody's fan, especially in, if you in the music game, you know, you respect each other for what you do. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't think that Dayton really has an outlet for local artists here. So, you have a new CD coming out, Vice Versa. Tell me a little bit about that. What made you do Vice Versa? Actually, what made me do vice versa, or should I say, what inspired me to do vice versa was I have a very diverse, I have a lot of diversity, you know, within me, like, as far as my background, where I came from, and just basically how I live my day-to-day -day life. I'm not the type of person that follows the line, you know, it's all about in here, you know, so... Are there any artists out there you would like to um, perform with or do a song with? Actually, I don't really close my doors on who I really want to. Um, what I really want to do is, you know, work with people who actually love it and have, you know, an actual art for it. Um, you know, anybody that's like dedicated to it as much as I am. So I don't really zero it down on anybody because I don't like shutting my doors, you know what I'm saying? So when should your fans expect your album to come out? Well, right now, I perceive my album to come out on August 17th, which is also my birthday. So that's a special day. Saturday. Do you so. have any shout outs you would like to give to anyone? Well, you know, I got to give a shout out to my Gym City Jewel girls, you know. 380, Kyvy, Takira, Angela, Finesse, Juicy, you know, Juicy Baby. So how can they get in contact with you? You can actually contact me on Facebook, which is Erica Miss E. Garcia. And then I also have Twitter, which is Miss E First Lady. And then also Reverb Nation, Miss E. So, or email Miss E First Lady at gmail.com. So, how is your fan base? My fan base 
is like diverse. There's no single gender, no separation, no anything like that. It's basically people who actually just love music. Trayvon Martin's situation yeah. is, for real, it's like really unexplainable. And I really don't have any words for it, but what I do know is it was completely messed up. I felt like it was kind of like outnumbered as far as the justice that was put on the person who did that, you know, in the favor of others, not in the favor of, you know, that side. Like, it was a divide. And a lot of people was really upset about that. And I feel like if everybody comes together in unity, something can be done about it. It can always get overturned. You can take it back to the court, you know, just like trying to get in the Supreme System. So why not get to the Supreme Court? So. Well, I thank you for coming out to Macmillan Films TV today. We holla. Hello.